Hi there, my name is Sherry, aka The Hardy Girl, and you've probably seen some of my videos on YouTube with this doll. This is Julie Newman, my Springfield Collection doll. And I know that there have been some concerns about buying Springfield Collection dolls versus American Girl because of hair care issues. It's cheaply made, the hair gets too frizzy, it's not as well made, but then again, not everybody can afford American Girl dolls, and if you really wanted a Springfield Collection doll, and let other people dissuade you or tell you that it's a bad idea. I'm here to give you some tips about how to keep her hair nice. This is Julie, as I said, and I've had her for about five months. And as you can see, no frizz. Her hair is really nice. I take good care of it and I'm gonna give you a few tips on how to do that. And the second part of this video um, is also going to show you how to take the frizz out of your Springfield Collection Girl Dolls hair that already has the frizz, okay? So here we go. Tip number one. This is a doll, not a human. So don't wash her hair with shampoo or put conditioner in it. No matter what you've been told, it's not going to work, okay? Because this is nylon, not hair. And nylon will get frizzier and frizzier and frizzier if you wash it or condition it with shampoo or conditioner for people. Okay? Don't do that. Number two, only brush your doll's hair with her own brush. And it should be a rubber tip brush, like a blow dryer brush. This is one I got from Walgreens for $2. It's not very expensive. And according to the Springfield Collection people, it's the best thing to use on your doll's hair. Only her hair, not yours. Please do not use things that you've used in your own hair in your doll's hair. And this includes hairbrushes, combs, clips, scrunchies, ponytail holders, whatever you've got. Don't put them in your doll's hair once they've been in your hair. Now, Julie, excuse me, has her own clip in her hair. You know, this is one I bought spe especially for her. And it doesn't go in my hair, okay? Um, so it'll keep her hair nice because your hair has oils in it. And the oils will um, freeze your doll's hair up, and it's not really good for it. Um, next... Braiding is not the greatest idea, and some Springfield Collection dolls you've seen, I'm sure, have had braided hair. What happens after that, unfortunately, is it crimps up. And the more you try to brush the crimps out, the frizzier it gets. This, the next part of this video will hopefully uh, be, if I can get it made tonight, um, how to take the frizz out of the doll's hair once it's in there. And I know some, a lot of people have had this. I've seen so many YouTube videos with these wonderful dolls, but their hair is really a mess. So I'm going to help you guys with that, and I hope that it does some good. And um, Springfield Collection people, if you're watching, feel free to post this on Facebook. Okay? Um, also, it's not really a great idea to get it wet regardless of washing, um, unless you're going to do what I'm going to show you in the next video. Okay? So what I will be showing you is how to do something called a downy press. I credit uh, Beth Colvin of ChrissyandBeth.com for this process because she uses it on the on vintage Chrissy dolls. And before you try anything on your doll, you need to do what I call a strand test. And that what that is is you take a little bit of hair off the back of her head, a couple strands. Don't pull like a whole hair plug out. A few strands off the back so no one can really see it. Two or three hairs. You're going to take a, some little bit of a fabric softener between your fingers and run along the strand, wet your hand, run along that. Um, get a very wet, wrung out washcloth. Put it on your ironing board. Put the hair in the washcloth and fold the washcloth in half. And then set your iron on the setting right before steam. I tried like between setting three and four. Your iron is maybe different, so this is why the test is important. And run it along and pull the um, strands out of the uh, washcloth. And I'll show you how to do this in the video. Um, but that, if, if it works and it doesn't crinkle or, or disintegrate or ruin, you know, and make sure it's not one of mom's good washcloths. <laughs> if it doesn't, you know, crinkle up or disintegrate, then it's going to work in your doll's hair. And again, I will show you that in the next video. Okay. And another thing I'd want to discuss briefly before I get on to the next portion is um, there are quite a few people, and you know who you are, that are being rather mean about people owning any other dolls but American Girl, okay? Not everybody can afford American Girl dolls, but everybody can afford to have fun. 18-inch dolls are fun. 
Um, they were fun when I was a kid, and they had the fashion type of dolls instead of the, you know, little girl type of dolls. Um, and you've probably seen my Chrissy doll in a couple of the videos with Julie here. Um, and those are fun dolls to play with. And not everybody can uh, afford $100 for the doll and 28 bucks for each outfit and the accessories and on and on and on. You know, and if you take good care of your doll, she's going to look just as pretty as a Springfield, I mean, as a uh, American Girl doll. And as you can see, this is Julie's outfit. I'm going to back up so you can see it. She has really cute shoes. I love this skirt. Nice little corduroy skirt and a um, little shirt. And I gave her a little necklace here. And she looks really cute. And I've acquired quite a few uh, items of clothing for her um, for a lot less money than you'd think. <laughs> And uh, from Springfield Collection and other sources like um, Olivia's Closet, Emily Rose, um, to name a few. Um, so, you know, be nice to each other. And I'm sure that, you know, Springfield Collection and American Girl are both in the spirit of girls empowering themselves and having fun and learning about something. Well, it's not really in character of any of those things if you're picking on each other and being mean. So try to remember that, you know, be nice to, to one another. And you know, and one other thing you can do is if you know somebody who really would like a doll, you know, and you've saved up a little money, and you, you can buy them a Springfield Collection doll to play with you, so that, you know, they can have an 18-inch doll too and not feel left out. I bought two dolls, which I'm going to be performing my experiments on, um, Madison and Naya from Springfield Collection. And um, after I've done what I'm going to do, during the Christmas season, they're going to be donated with a full suit of outfits and their own hairbrush to um, a, a local toy drive um, so that some other little girl can appreciate them for Christmas this year because even Santa needs a little help. So stay tuned. My next video should be up soon, hopefully by tonight, <laughs> and uh, you will see how to take the frizz out of your doll's hair. So be nice to each other and have a great day.